Welcome back to Let's Check Out Pal World. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I don't know what that is. What you got there, buddy? Hey, buddy. Yeah, you like that. Oh, that one needs to be fed. Oh. I wasn't close enough when I did that for you. Feed? Uh, no. <laughs> do I have to do that one by one, or... Because that's going to get old real fast. I can drop another pal in the base. I won't. Because I only have the one bed. There you go! Yeah, last time we, uh, oops, discovered, uh, the glory of pants. We built a bed for our little friend over there, and we got another, uh, fast travel point just here. That's right, I can go right back there. But first, uh, no. Oh, yeah, security settings. You can have, like, wide open public servers and have to defend your base against other players and stuff. Maybe that was ore. Oh, these still have the ti <clears throat> the timer on them. Hmm. That's not ideal. Do I have a friend in my party who's about cooking? Uh, maybe that's not a thing. Oh, I did notice this, yes. Uh... In the corner there, it says, like, the, the fluffy shield. Uh, lay a glare. Sometimes lays an egg when assigned to a ranch. I noticed that Daydreams doesn't have one, unless I have Daydreams' necklace, which I think was one of the things I could buy from that wandering merchant. Oh, I forgot to mention before the last video, but, uh, I increased the, uh, sensitivity of the, uh... I went in the wrong direction. That's right, it was past you. I guess, yeah, with, you know creatures like these pals, you could just find, you know, like the stand-in for a Pikachu and use it to charge up actual electrical devices and such. So I can see how the survival stuff can go all the way from, you know, loincloths and sticks to uh, miniguns and factories. Hi there! I know you don't believe this right now, but we are going to be such good friends. I am on fire. No! No! Oh, I thought I killed him. Yeah. Ah, I'm burning! Worth it! Is this gonna continue till I hit the water or something? Oh, go oh no, it did stop. Jeez. That was rough. Looks like my health is regenerating. I'm guessing it's like Minecraft rules, and it will regenerate, uh, and it uses up more food when I'm doing that. Ooh, that looks deep. Or at least that it can't be seen by, uh, torchlight. I don't know why I put that away. Yes, sorry, uh... We had a friend in here, didn't we? No, he was up here. Fuck Sparks! It is unskilled at controlling fire from the moment it is born. It intends to choke on the flames it breathes unintentionally. Fox bark sneezes are one of the leading causes of forest fires. I wonder if they evolve. I do notice that Lamb Ball is number one, immediately followed by Kativa, so I don't think it turns into that. Hey, there's a dude over here. What's up? 
You're a new face, don't tell me. An outsider. As opposed to what? Not that it matters to me. Now that you're on this island, why not try and catch some pals? You can get extra experience for capturing up to ten of the same kind, you know. Good to know. Not every race until it reaches level seven. Challenge boss, yes. Uh, you know what they say, pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Here, take this, I've got high hopes for you. I like this guy, he's very positive. Not sure about the hat, though. Five paldium fragments. What is this? Oh, it's one of those! And I found that in here. What? Why did I sparkle? Uh, up here? Yeah, key items. Lift monk effigy. Players can enhance their abilities by taking offerings to certain... Uh, making offerings, even, to certain st uh, statues. Memo. Oh, these, yes, yes. Fine, I'll read the journal, since it is the first one we found. Castaway's journal, day two. I explored around on foot. I found a sphere that emits a peculiar blue light. I threw it without much thought, and the creature it landed near transformed into what seemed to be light, as though the sphere had absorbed it. Unbelievably, when I tried throwing the same sphere again, the creature reappeared from the light and stared at me with what seemed like an amicable expression. As I began to create a shelter to protect me from the elements, the creature astonishingly began to help me. How useful. Wanting to deepen my connection with this living thing, I decided to name its kind Pals. To match, I christened this land Palpagos Island. So this is old school. This is the guy who discovered you could do that. But where did the balls come from? Castaway's Journal Day XDX. That's right, that day was female. Uh... Taken from a pal. Oh. A flame organ, that also makes sense. Where did I see that? <coughs> memo. Where was memo? Here it is under options. Oh, Castaway's Journal Day XDX. Very first one. Cliff tops. This world harbor is a secret. I was convinced of this, and I began re examining the globe's geographical features for my research towards the end of last year. Looking over the islands of the world, I noticed something strange. It felt like a certain area was empty, so to speak. I knew there should have been something there. It was unbelievable to me how no one could have noticed such an obvious absence in this location. With a few months of preparation, I was successfully able to guess the location of an island based on my hypothesis. With conviction in my heart, I chartered a boat and set out for the island alone. I can't remember a time when that sentence has ever led into anywhere good. Like, for real. Damn it, me. Can I use that guy's fire, by the way? No. It really seems like someone wanted me to find that journal entry. What was it being? laid on the pedestal and all. I'm sorry, why is this not wood? Excuse me. You know what? Uh... Where the fuck? Oh! Roll, crouch, riding, seal 3, B. Hmm. Okay, you hold B for like two straight seconds and then you crouch. That's why I couldn't find it earlier. Otherwise, if you just tap it, you just roll, even if you're standing yep. still. That looks important. Rain Syndicate's Tower. Depresso? does look sad. Oh shit! It looks angry now! Yeah. No! You know what? Uh, uh... 
Suck it. Holy shit. I am poisoned. Ah. Yeah! Dropresso, it has few friends because of a perpetually grouchy look on its face, but it is, in fact, kind hearted. Some have seen it feeding Vixie, who have strayed from their pack. He'll be all right. He'll just uh, never see his friend again. Oh, why did I say it that way? Now even I'm sad. Um. Vixie. That could be a pixie-looking thing, or it could be a fox, because a female fox is called a vixen. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a stone. It looks funny. Weird. Oh, my torch did not go out. Well, I'm clean again. That's nice. It's very strange to me that the color is bleached out when I get wet. And that I get slower, but I guess that one makes more sense. Hey, there's shit orbiting up there. I mean, obviously, that's the tower. Is that like a whole dungeon, or do I just go there and there's a guy standing there? Now, here's the thing I really want to know. Is the boss going to be like a proper boss? Like a pal fight? Or is it going to be like a dude with five pals on his belt? More Kativas. I'll just catch them both. Oh, no, you fucking don't. Yeah! <laughs> What do I have? What? Oh, there it is. Let me go ahead and put that over there. Uh-huh. <coughs> Fuck. I lost track. Oh, there's one over there. Uh, I really like how all of the pals I've seen so far almost remind me of a specific Pokemon, but not really. Like, they've absolutely nailed the art style. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a Caprity, of course. Oh, right, because Capra is the word for uh, goats. Yes, right. Just a fucking arrow sat there. Can make that sound on command. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For maximum points, it would have had to have the uh, exclamation mark and question mark appear at the bottom of the screen, but you know. Oh, right, giant scary tower. Um, man, I really wandered off. I did notice cold and heat-resistant armor in the, uh, menu there. Ah, there's one! I'll just wait for my, uh, stamina to come back, and, uh... No, wait! Get him! Get him! Or her. I just realized I do have the symbols there. No, no! 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 Oh, that was the opposite of what I wanted to happen. Alright, thanks anyway. I suppose you did a good job. It's not the job I was hoping for. I mean, you know, it's animals, you know, they don't know better. You don't get mad at the animal. Mad at yourself for misunderstanding the situation. Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh, what is this? Electric egg. Here's the, the question: Do I make? Does it? Is this something I make into food, or is this something I can hatch? Build an egg incubator to uh, incubate pal eggs. And it doesn't have a timer on it, so it's not going to, you know, die or whatever. Although these mushrooms are, which is weird, because mushrooms don't decay. Mushrooms can be eaten raw. But can I cook them anyway? Uh, where the hell am I? No! Hi. Fucking penguin. You get back here, you little fuck. It's admittedly easier when they're trying to kill me and not running away! <laughs> Sorry about that, kitty. At a glance, it appears full of confidence, but it is, in fact, weak and cowardly. Being toyed with by a cativa is, in many ways, the greatest of disgraces. Dude, that was harsh. I haven't seen any... I think the only Pokémon that got described that way was, uh... was Magikarp, which is, in every generation, explicitly described as being the crappiest Pokémon there is. I should look into that, actually. Uh... What the hell was that? Uh, common shield. God damn it, stop doing that while I'm in. Oh, hey. Planting berries. I was wondering what I was supposed to do with those. Statue of Power. Looks like off brand Lucario. There's Daydream's necklace. Call her for Daydream. If Daydream is in your team, it will stay by your side and attack enemies and tandem! Oh, you're really big. Oh, something's fighting up there. That's how that sound is. Hi. Ow. Now you've attacked me! Wait a minute. It's only level 9. Get him! Killed them. Oh, what the hell? How did you lose the fight? Honestly, I was waiting for the him to beat them, and... Oh. He doesn't have swirls in his eyes. Is he just dead? Do they just kill each other if it's not one of mine? Crazy. Oh, look, the bird leveled up and learned a dark ball. What the fuck is that? No, not Dark Ball, I mean this. What is this? Syndicate Thug. Syndicate Thug and Syndicate Gunner? I wonder if they'll drop their guns. Hello, I come in peace. Let me guess, you don't. Oh, look at that. Beat this guy to death. That'll be uh, nice and straightforward. Done. Excuse me. Gotta go avenge your death. Hi there. Why are you shooting at the chinchilla? I'm Burning Dog Face. My friends call me Dog Face. That's a lie. And uh, I guess that means you can call me Burning Dog Face. into my party. And I leveled up. Yeah. Well, since I can't increase that, let's increase my... I don't know, work speed? Wait? Yeah. No. Uh, this. Yeah. What the hell is that? Pal fluids. Bodily fluids taken from a pal. Useful for its high viscosity. How about that? 
coarse ammo. Ammo for musket, makeshift, handgun, and other similar weapons. Did I actually get that guy in the party? I wasn't sure. Oh, not in the party, I mean, uh... Oh yeah, look at that! Pen gullet. The feathers of his pal have all but disappeared, but sadly its desire to fly has remained as strong as ever. Even now, it tries to fly again in any way it can. You know, the thing about Daydream, uh... Like, putting people in comas forever kind of reminds me of, uh... The only Pokémon fan theory I've ever actually liked. What is that? I guess that's unconscious, whatever that is. Yeah, those assholes must have shot this. Sorry about that. The only fan theory I've ever actually liked is the only one that doesn't try to make something as cheery and beautiful as Pokémon into something uh, grim and dark and scary. And that is this. That all of the Pokédex entries, which make Pokémon out to be, like, soul-stealing monsters or whatever, all of the dark and gritty Pokédex entries are just nonsense made up by the children who first discover that species, since, of course, uh, most of the Pokémon trainers we encounter are less than 15. It's like, oh, Snorlax is really big! I bet he weighs a thousand pounds! Well, let's add, like, a 23 to that to make it sound, you know, more professional than just a big round number. Oh, and this one's weird. It knows a move called Dream Eater. I bet it sneaks into your head when you're asleep and eats all of your nightmares so you feel better. So it's just all nonsense made up by children to make them sound cooler. Oh, yeah, just join boss battle. Okay, walking away from that. Oh, it's a Gumas. I guess it's Gumas, because it's, you know, gummy. Uh, let's give... I don't know. Let's give Kremis a try. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Gamos, a strange pal with a body resembling tree sap. It gradually loses strength if it has nothing to cover its body with, eventually rotting away? Sorry, buddy. I was just... I didn't mean to, like, be offended or anything. It's just... Oh, that sounds terrible. I'm sorry you have to put up with that. Huh. Oh, dear. I guess that's the timer. Oh, hey. Yoish. Yeah. Just because I haven't done it, here's the chicken. Yeah. I have a chicken with me. Sometimes lays an egg when <clears throat> assigned to a ranch. Odd-looking vines. Oh, what's that? Level 11, chill it. Why is that on the map? Well, I guess that will about do it for Let's Check Out. I said before, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this, because I would be happy to come back to this. Whether or not I'm coming with, uh, buddies, you know? It would be really cool to play this with friends. Just team up and probably make uh, resource gathering and building bases and such much easier.
be, I have barely scratched the surface here, so uh, I'm actually really interested in all this stuff. And uh, it has been good getting back to making videos, I must say. So I'm Burning Dog Face. This has been checking out Pal World, and uh, I guess I'll see you on whatever my next video is. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog Vans. Later!